What's up? It's good to see you guys again. What's going on? Coming at you on my new G7X Mark II camera that I just uh, picked up from Best Buy yesterday. So I am coming to you with the intro to Lockout Men makes the call for you guys. Welcome to season number two. How you guys doing out there? Y'all miss me? I know y'all did. I know y'all did. Well, the first season of Lockout Men Makes the Call is available on YouTube. Is available in a playlist on the channel page. So just come to the page and click on that, uh, click on the playlist and you can watch Season one of Lockout Men makes the call. Season two, fresh round of calls this season. Some very interesting calls this season as well. The first episode of this call is gonna be made to US Express. Yes, my old company. Uh, let me give you guys a little bit of background about US Express. US Express, is a mega carrier. They have several divisions there, uh, but primarily it's Drive-In. They do offer regional. They do, well, no, yes, yes they do. They do offer regional and they do offer dedicated. If you're interested in making money, dedicated will probably be the way to go considering the fact that it's a uh, driver unload meaning that you have to unload a 53 foot trailer now you will get paid for the unload as well as the miles and the stops it, it's one of the it's you know it's it's one of the accounts that you could probably make money off of they also is a starter company as well as a company sponsored uh cdl driving school all right, they um, they don't have the school themselves, but they sponsor a, a outside school that you new drivers or interested drivers can go to. So, people, welcome aboard. Welcome back to the soul of history. All right, lockout man makes the call. Season two. Let's get this bad boy started, and let's see what U.S. Express is talking about. Let's get into the call. Express, this is Sarah. How can I help you? Hey, Sarah. How you doing? Um, I'm on my uh, Driver Pulse app, and it looks as though as that it assigns you as a as a recruiter for U.S. Express. Yeah, I'm just I'm just calling for uh. Q and A just to get a little bit more information about the company. Okay, uh, go ahead with any questions that you have. All right, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. For starters, guys, do you guys sponsor uh, CDL training? Uh, we don't have a school here. We have some partnerships with some trucking schools. If you're approved to work with us, we can help finance one for you, okay. and then we'd put you under a 12-month agreement to drive for us once you've completed the school. All right. Is the is the travel and meals and hotels covered? We pay for um, bus ticket to the school and the hotel. Uh, we don't cover any meals. Will I be paid during the uh, during the CDL schooling? Uh, no, not while you go through the trucking school. After you've completed the school and you go out with a company trainer. Uh, you're paid through that period, and that would be at seventy dollars a day. Okay. Uh, but right. not while you actually go through, you know, the trucking school. So when I receive the CDLs and I'm hired, what are my obligations to the company? You would make payments towards the amount of the loan, uh, fifty dollars a week for those twelve months. So you'll pay in a total of twenty six hundred out of pocket. So what happens if I don't fulfill that obligation? You would be responsible for the full amount of the loan, which is uh, $6,995. What's your, <laughs> what's your guys' higher, higher areas? Um, I'm out of Ohio, so what's, what's your higher areas? Uh, we are hiring in Ohio. We've got um, over the road and some dedicated opportunities that are available as well. We're hiring pretty much out of the eastern half of the United States okay. uh, for solo drivers. 
Okay. Um, at the western half, we would be hiring four experienced teams. Where is the terminals located at? There's one in Springfield, Ohio. That would be the closest one to you. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania, Tunnel Hill, Georgia, Jacksonville, Florida, Olive Branch, Mississippi, Dallas, Texas, and Markham, Illinois. Is there a sign-on bonus? And if so, how much is it? Uh, they're not currently offering a sign-on bonus, though. I, I'm, I'm kind of shook at that because i seen a commercial for a sign-on bonus for ten for ten thousand that's that's why i asked that's for experienced drivers they're not offering any students any sign-on bonuses right now unless you go into one of those dedicated accounts now some of those are also offering sign-on bonuses it just depends on what you come in for oh, okay so there is a sign-on bonus for experienced drivers there, there is how is it paid out uh give me just one second it's a thousand dollars when you deliver your first load five hundred dollars at 30 days $1,000 at 90 days, $1,500 at 120 days, $1,000 at 6 months, $500 at 9 months, $1,000 at 12 months, $1,000 at 18 months, and uh, $2,500 at 24 months. Okay, so it's paid out over a course of two years. Correct, yes. Okay, another question on the sign-on bonus. Is there any restrictions on that? Like, say, for example, they have to meet a certain threshold or something like that to get that sign-on bonus every month? Uh, no, you just have to um, be current with us at that time. Do you guys require hair follicle testing for pre-employment? Uh, no, we do a year analysis. Is there an agility test requirement? Yes, there is a physical standards test that you take. Um, and if you go through the trucking school, um, it's the first, like, three days of the school that um, you'll do the physical standard. What's your policies on felons or felonies? Let's look at that on a case-by-case -case basis. Where is the orientation held? If you go through the trucking school, it's at the trucking school. It's at the last three days uh, after you've completed all your classes. And what about for experienced drivers? It would be, uh, if you're in Ohio, it would be in Springfield. It's at the terminals where where they closer to or how that works? Yeah, yeah, that it's the closest one to you. Do you get do you get paid for orientation and for how long? And I'm asking this as a, an experienced driver. Uh, the orientation is three days and you're paid uh, in Ohio it's $62 a day. How long is the training time with a trainer? And this is... 175 hours behind the wheel. It usually takes around four to five weeks. How long is the wait time for a trainer? Right now, they're waiting um, like four to five days. All right, what's the, now I think you already mentioned it and if you have, I, apolo I apologize for asking it again, but what's the pay during training? Uh, $70 a day. How much experience do a typical trainer have? They have to have at least one year of over the road experience. After training, are you forced to team or can you go straight solo if you like? It just depends on, um, I mean, if, if he's coming out of Ohio, then no, um, there wouldn't be, we wouldn't require him to team, but there are certain states that we do require an eight week team up out of. What's the C What's the starting CPM? For over the road for students out of Ohio, it would start at 33 cents per mile. What about experience? You'd be at 41 cents per mile if you don't have any tickets, accidents, or CSA violations in the last 12 months. Uh, they'll give you a five cent safety bonus. Okay, now let me ask you a question about that five cent safety bonus. Does that start? Right when you come into when you come into working for them, or does he, or do you have to wait twelve months in order to get it? Uh, no, it would be as soon as you started. You would uh, they would go ahead and give you the five cent safety bonus, and then if you you know had a ticket or um, an incident or something like that, they would take that five cents away until you had twelve months of safe driving again. So the cent per mile that you just mentioned. Is that paid based on straight miles or is there a sil uh, sliding scale? No, it's um, there's not a sliding scale. It's um, it's straight miles, and they do uh, and they pay Rand McNally. It's uh, practical miles. Okay. I'm sorry, actual miles. Do you offer pay advance? Um, yeah, you can get up to a hundred dollars. Um, as a pay advance a week. How often does the pay increase? Um, it increases every year based on safety and performance. Per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? Uh, it is offered and it is mandatory for the first 30 days. Do you guys offer vacation and holiday pay? Some of the dedicated accounts offer vacation pay. 
um, and vacation time, like it would be one week at one year, two weeks at two years, and so on, and it's based on an average of what you've earned that year, or like your average weekly pay for the year. Uh, can you hang on just one second for me? Sure. And then uh, for over the road drivers, it's uh, you're offered one week of unpaid vacation at one year, and then two hundred and fifty dollars in retention pay. The retention pay is is just the pay and no days, right? It's uh, it's like one week at one year uh, of unpaid vacation and two hundred and fifty dollars, and that you get that whether you use it or not, and then it increases every year by fifty dollars. So like at, at two years, it would be two weeks and three hundred dollars, and then uh, it's the same for like the dedicated accounts that it's seven years, it's three weeks, um, but you'll have gotten you know increase of fifty dollars every year as well. Do you guys offer breakdown pay and detention pay? Uh, detention pay is twelve fifty an hour after three hours, and our loads are going to be like seventy percent drop and hook. Uh, labor pay is fifty dollars a day at twenty four hours. And what was the other one that you asked me? I'm sorry, breakdown. Uh, the uh, breakdown and detention. Yeah, detention is twelve fifty an hour after three hours. Uh, layover is fifty dollars a day at twenty four hours and breakdown is um, the same as layover at 50. Layovers, how often How often does it happen? Well, like I said, 70% of our um, loads are gonna be drop and hook. So um, you shouldn't really keep moving you know, constantly, but to be honest with you, in recruiting, we don't see much of the operations side, so I couldn't give you like a percentage of you know how many drivers have layover. It's gonna happen at some point. I, right. I couldn't tell you how often. Is there is there multiple stop pay? Uh, for Solos, it's twenty dollars for your first stop, thirty-five for your second, and then fifty for your third stop. And um, teams, if you're running as a team, they split. What benefits do you guys offer? It's a uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and you're eligible at uh, ninety days. The four hundred one k, you're eligible for at six months. Do you guys require hazmat? Uh, no, it's not required. If you decide to get it after you come in with us, if you keep your receipt, we can reimburse up to hundred dollars for adding that on to uh, the license. I'm glad you mentioned uh, reimbursement. Do you guys reimburse for um, for school tuition? Uh, we do. We reimburse at one hundred and fifty a month up to seven thousand dollars. All right. How many miles a week a, uh, a driver can average? If you're going to open the road, uh, solos average around 2,500 miles a week. What lanes are available? Okay. What city in Ohio? Cleveland. So I have, right now I have a Dollar General. I have um, a position for Trans Place. I have a Safeway Dollar. I have a Walmart uh, account that runs out of Auburn, Indiana. That one's actually 12 days out with two days home. Uh, the other accounts are home weekly for a 34-hour reset. Okay, um, I'm curious to know. You say Walmart is is out of is out of my area? Yeah, they have a Walmart account that runs out of Auburn, Indiana. Uh -huh. um, like I said, it's 12 days out and two days home, or you can run 18 days out with three days home. Um, operations on it are 24/7. Uh, you would have to drive your personal vehicle to and from that distribution center. Uh, so I guess you would just go there and then see the truck and then um, run, you know, with the sleeper for 12 days. And then when it was time for your home time, you'd go back to that distribution center. Um, the stop pay is $12 after your first stop, and they average $1,240 a week. They deliver to locations in Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan. I'm kind of shocked at that. Auburn, Indiana, and Walmart dedicated for for mm -hmm. for drivers out of Cleveland, Ohio, huh? Mm -hmm. Did did you guys just started that, or was it, or was that available for for a while? No, it just uh, they just opened the hiring area up on it. Uh, you did have to live within. 50 miles of Auburn, Indiana, and it was a local account. As well as uh, Walmart, which I would probably think would probably be the better of the uh, the rest of them, but you got the dollar accounts and, and the other accounts out of Ohio, as well as just over general over the road, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a family dollar and a dollar general, and I have um, a new account that we just call, it's called Trans Place. They're home weekly. 
Okay. Um, they haul Colgate and Del Monte freight in the Midwest and the Northeast. Um, they average 1,900 to 2,100 miles per week. Um, drivers work Monday through Friday, and then they're home for their 34-hour reset. It's a mixture of live loads and drop and hook. Okay. Um, they do offer vacation pay on it. Okay. Uh, there's a thousand dollar trip if you're available for five days. Uh, you said you had two years of experience. Yes. So it'd be fifty cents per mile on that position. Are all miles paid, and how is it calculated? Uh, it is all miles, and it's um, they pay the Ram McNally. All right, so it's Ram McNally. So it's zip code to zip code, mm -hmm. city to city, or how how is that? Actual miles. Oh, it's actual miles. Do you guys have an idle policy? Uh, we do. It's uh, below 50 and above 70, but I'll have to try to find out for you to make sure. Um, and then the trucks have bunk uh, bunk heaters. Okay. Um, and then also, you know, it depends on the state that you're idling in and what their rules are. Do you guys reimburse for scales and toll? Well, you get the pre-pass, um, but if you do, you know, if you did have to cover one, then yes, they would reimburse it. Usually they just go ahead and put it on to, like, your pay card mm -hmm. and then you would go ahead and pay and you already you already mentioned the percentage of dropping hooks which is what you said 70. Mm -hmm. you also mentioned as well as home i was going to ask you about home time policy but you mentioned that the home time policy is different for for each accounts right you you just recently mentioned that right yes that is correct all right what's the maximum amount of days i could take off for home time usually they don't want you to unseat a truck for more than like four days it it could be something that you could work out with your fleet manager like if you're wanting to do like five weeks out and five days home we have some drivers that stay out for six months and then you know take a week home um our teams, if you run a, as a hazmat team and you run uh, 49 days, they give you seven days home. Um, but for solos, usually it's four or five days, and then they're going to ask you to reseat a different truck usually. Is there slip seating? Some of the accounts are slip seat, yes. What's the driver turnover there? Oh, uh, it's standard with the industry, but I don't know what it is right now. I think I think everybody's running pretty much 100%. What's the uh, pet and rider policy? The pet policy is a $500 non-refundable deposit. You can pay it out at $50 a week for 10 weeks. No aggressive breeds for dogs mm -hmm. and the rider policy is $27 a month that covers the cost of the insurance for the rider um, they have to be at least 10 years of age if they're related otherwise they would have to be um, 18 and they cannot be a class A holder is there is there forced dispatch to NYC or Cali uh, we don't force dispatch to New York City though okay what about California teams are the ones that uh, really run into the western half our fellows generally stay in the eastern half of the United States if I decide if I decide to quit I'm I'm just saying if I'm working for the company, if I decide to quit, what's the policy for turning in the truck? Oh, you need to get with your fleet manager and turn it in. Usually they want you to take it to a terminal. Mm -hmm. um, definitely wouldn't want to leave it where we had to recover it. So if I if I turn it into a terminal and and part ways, I won't have that. Uh, I won't have that listed as an abandonment on my DAT. That's correct, yeah. As long as you let them know where it's at, take it into a terminal or to, you know, drop yard and leave it. As long as they don't have to recover it, um, then they would not do that. Um, what equipment do you guys offer? And are they autos or 10 speeds or both? Um, solos are in Peterbilt and Kenworth. Teams are in Freightliners. The average age of the fleet is two years or newer. They're all automatic. What, uh, what if any divisions do you guys offer? Uh, we do have uh, some of these dedicated accounts all refrigerated um, as well, but it, it's drive-in or reefer. Um, we don't have like a tanker division or flatbed. All right, so this is uh, this is for uh, driver-focused company. For driver comfort, what amenities do you guys offer inside the truck? Uh, they have the bunk heaters, um, and then uh, there there are two quick size bunks that are inside there. Um, but as far as like our refrigerators and stuff like that, they, those don't come all on the trucks. 
if you want to have those installed, do you have the burgers on the truck, and the shop will install it for you, you know, for free. But it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't come with those. What about APUs? Some of the newer trucks have APUs. Um, if they don't have an APU, then they have an inverter. Does the truck come with a drive cam? We're talking about the little uh, the event recorders. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, we do have those. Um, they're outward facing, and they are only um, they only come on if you know if you like hit the brake or you know something like that, and then it backtracks on the recording. What's the what are the trucks governing that? Sixty eight. That's sixty eight on the pedal. I mean, sixty eight on the pedal or sixty eight on the crew. Oh, uh, I don't know. I've never been asked that. I just know it was sixty five, and they just um, increased it to sixty eight. This is uh these are my last few questions. Th thank you for taking the time. Do you have an open door policy? We do. Do you guys offer a refresher course for drivers that hasn't been driving for a while? We don't have a school. We have partnerships with the trucking schools. Um, and then, you know, those are the ones that I talked about earlier where we can help finance it up front and then put you under a 12-month agreement. But we don't have any kind of, uh, like, school or, you know, refresher programs here. What is the number one reason for driving with U.S. Express? Oh, gosh, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, usually... The most of the drivers are excited about the equipment. Okay, okay, the equipment. All right, well, is there anything else you can add that I haven't touched on? Uh, the 401k, you're eligible for at six months. They match 50% up to the first 3%. So it's dollar for dollar match or? Uh, they match 50% up to uh, like the first 3%. So if you have, you know, like, 3,000 in there, they're going to match 50% up to the first 3% of that. Well, all right. Well, thank you very much. What's your name again? Hi, Sarah. 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 I, you, you see, I, I forgot that already. My bad. <laughs> my bad. You can send me information through my 10th Street. Uh, how else? Uh, how how else would I be able to go by uh, obtaining information from US Express? You guys have a website? Yeah, it's uh, usxjobs.com. How long have you been a recruiter for 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 US Express? Uh, it'll be seven years in August. Awesome, awesome. Well, you do know you 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 do know your stuff, and I do appreciate it. <laughs> thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you. I uh, again, I, I want to thank you for taking the time to uh, you know go over this Q and A with me. I really do appreciate it, and I do have everything recorded. Thank you very much for taking the time, and I do appreciate I, I do appreciate your honesty. No problem. If you have any other questions, just give us a call. I'll do that. I'll do that. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, come on, man. Come on, y'all. There you have it, U.S. Express. Oh my God, I mean, I was surprised at that q and I mean, the first q and the first call that I made to the first recruiter wasn't all that high. But there's always a chance that you can talk to another recruiter that can better give you a better understanding of the company. So, Sarah, thank you very much. You knocked it out of the park. I mean, like I said, I'm very surprised at, uh, at some of the answers, especially when come to find out that a Walmart dedicated is available for drivers out of Cleveland, Ohio. I was amazed at that. <laughs> but if you guys want to know any more information about U.S. Express, I suggest you guys call Sarah and get with her. Nice recruiter. Nice Q&A. Like I said, like I said, I, I, I am very, I'm very pleased with that and very surprised as well. But anyway, let me go ahead and end this video. If you guys like the way that Q&A went, let me know in the comments below. If you guys have any questions for any of the recruiters that I talk to or talk to in the future, put that in the comments below. As well as who you want me to call next. All right? Put that in the comments below as well. Well, y'all know what it is. It is your host, Lockout Man. Mace the call.
season two. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I really do appreciate you guys watching. And stay tuned for the next episode. That's all I can say. I'll talk to you guys later. And see you in the next video. Peace. Go, go, go. Let's do this.